puck bouncing across left to right. It's made a bit unfortunate for Tremblay to get on top of it, but signs that the power play unit already looking well-oiled for tonight. And there we go, no. goal, opening goal for the Storm. Right on cue. Right on cue indeed. 16.03 to play in the first period and the Storm are on the board first. And a quick shot from the power play. We'll have to watch it again on the replays as to who got the final touch. Quick drive in in a shot, short side. It was finished by Murphy. Matt Murphy. Good reflex, there's going to be a chance in that again, but the Steelers intercept and can break away with extra numbers here. Pass to the back door and into the back of the net. Venigo couldn't make his way across this time around, took away the bottom of the net. Steelers shoot high and get themselves on the board. Number 14, Patrick Watling was driving the back door. Campini causing trouble down the middle. And Steelers tie this game with 7.55 left to play in the first period. Yeah, chance down at one end for the Storm. Break back the other way to Steelers. Catch the Storm. Lacking numbers at the back. And is comfortable stuff and nearly Allen doesn't take too kindly to the poking way there but Austin Farley had a Maroon covered up for a while there before we got a whistle and Scott Allen just protecting his goaltender rightly so and we'll do the face off all over again but a good chance of the storm. Mighty Kroll involved as well as Johnny Corneal stands over the draw. It is back underway. Steelers win this one, turned over, Cornell backhand, drops it in! It doesn't get cuter than that, cool as a cucumber, picks it out the pile, drives to the blue paint, drops it in backhand, Johnny Cornell, number 23, makes it 2-1 on the board, with 15-10 to go. Well, with star like that, it's hard to believe that's only Cornell's seventh goal of the season, but you may not find a better goal than that tonight. Cutting right through the paint, backhand through the five hole. Marone never saw it coming, he was expecting him to turn. Go on to his four and get a shot. Completely catches the Steelers' net, mind is sleeping, and the storm regain. Second penalty kill unit out. Yeah, putting your body on the line there for your team, good stuff. Big, powerful shot coming in. He didn't look too troubled coming off the ice, so good news to see there. That's out in front, trickling in the blue paint, still still have it on the stick, shoot high and it's in the back of the goal. They've tied it at two, at nine, twelve. We'll watch back on the replay exactly how this one went in. I think it might have gone off a storm defensive player. It was Garcia on the line. He goes off his part of his equipment as he looks to the sky. The Steelers tie the game at two goals apiece on the power play. Yeah, a bit unfortunate there for Venigo. You can see his head's bobbling around. He can't quite see where the puck is. It's bouncing awkwardly. Then it comes through and just knocked off Garcia. Bit of a freebie there for the Steelers, but a goal's a goal, and their fans are absolutely loving it. Johnson puts the head on. Play goes on. A couple of calls from the Sheffield fans, but nothing doing from the officials. Diffley. And over the blue line, Simpson shot. To lose Venninger. And a couple of players camped out in front of him, taking his eyes away. And number 24, Mark Simpson, lines the lane through the traffic. And then behind Venninger for the third goal of the game and the Steelers' first lead. Well, I said you aren't going to find much better than Johnny Cornell's goal for the second one of the game for the Storm, but what a snipe that is there by Mark Simpson. Just moves across to a left-hand side, finds just a tiny, tiny gap. I think Dylan has got all the penalties that have been given out. So Neverline and, and Johnson been called two minutes each for roughing, and then those were going to cancel each other out on the Steelers. On the power play, get the second power play goal of the night. 
20 seconds to go in the period, they double the lead. Basel just about to get on to penalties. Punishing in the back door, wide open, Oldell couldn't get across in time. And the Steelers lead four goals to two here, and Altrincham. Storm are definitely going to feel hard done by on that one with the way that the penalties have fallen out. Just still and take us through the final bits of those penalties before we get back underway. So for Johnson and Neville Island penalties, we get cancel each other out. themselves again here. it's looking highlight real stuff again here at the storm shelter with both goal and turnover. turnover there but this could be a chance again oh what a save from it. following up on the rebound 9.29 to play Johnny Cornell had the intentional the, the first opportunity rebound spilled out to Callum Fryer although he hasn't played much this season when called upon, he's in the right place at the right time, following up. Looked like there was a penalty going to be called on the play as well. So on the delayed call, Storm cut the lead to one, three, four. Malone almost got back into it, almost made the save. But Freya finds the gap. Moron. Martin looking for a tip in front. Pritchard couldn't get a stick on it, ends up in the corner back to Morrow. 20 seconds left to play on the power play. Morrow's shot, finds the top corner, and that equalises the game. 4-4, Joe Morrow on the power play from the point. What a game, what a goal. Well, before the game, I said to expect 4-4 tied up. Overtime might be on the cards. I said we was going to get a goal fest. We've got the eighth goal I called. And Joe Morrow popping the popping the bottle again through traffic he tops Mark Simpson's goal and I thought that was gorgeous and top shelf bottles off Marone can do nothing about it and we're all square here once again two power play goals for both teams four goals on the night for both teams fresh legs on for the Steelers two minutes and change to go in overtime Steelers step out from the road, behind the road net, Allen through neutral ice. Trying to drive through the middle, dishes off. Quick shot and that ends the game. A quick cut across the zone and shot back the other way. Beats Redinger, high block aside. Just under two minutes, 156. Allen was the one that made the move, but it was shot from just inside the face-off circles. It's a cruel way to end the game. It's even crueler in, shoot in a shootout. And it is the Sheffield Steelers that are taking the full complement of points. But Storm can't be upset. It's battled back after taking the lead early on in the game. Went down two goals, 4-2. Got it back to 4-4. Got to overtime and made their made their chances count. 